Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. If you haven't seen any of my previous trip videos, just click right there. Today we're going to the 2018 Rockport Fulton Hummerbird Celebration. If ever you want to attract attention to yourself at a hummingbird festival, just go wearing one of these on your head. Pretty cool, huh? This headpiece was made for me by an artist by the name of Matt Bohan. I was surfing the internet one day and I happened upon his blog post where he showed pictures of these bird uh, headpieces that he made for his kids to wear on Halloween. Well, one year he made a hummingbird for his son. And when I saw that, I thought, oh my God, I have got to get one of those. So I contacted him and he got my head measurements and he made me this gorgeous ruby-throated hummingbird. It's very light. The whole thing's made out of craft foam, so it weighs next to nothing on my head. But I love this bird. <laughs> the Rockport Fulton Hummerbird Celebration celebrates the return of the ruby-throated hummingbird in the fall uh, after their migration across the Gulf of Mexico. They all arrive in Texas along this area where Rockport is centered. The 2018 festival was the 30th annual celebration. Almost 30. They actually had to cancel it the year before because of the devastation that Hurricane Harvey wreaked on the area. Photography was very difficult this weekend because the weather just didn't cooperate. I think most of the time it was rainy and dark, but I did the best I could to get some beautiful pictures of ruby-throated hummingbirds. that have landscape backyards with lots of hummingbird feeders, they invite you to their home and you can go and look around and talk with the people who live there and you have great opportunities for photographing these little ruby-throated hummingbirds. One of the women that I loved hanging out with in her backyard is Cindy Kuhn. She also had a buff-tailed hummingbird visit her, so I got to take a few pictures of a species that I hadn't photographed before. I left Cindy's and on my way back to the event center, I saw something that I had never seen before. And this will give you an idea of exactly how much it rained that weekend. Those are fish. The fish are crossing the road. I've heard of chickens crossing the road, but those are actually fish. There's a little bit of flooding from the pond over there. And uh, because there's a lot of rain, and the fish have escaped. There are a couple of herons at the other end of the road that are going to be feasting. They had a couple of different big vendor areas set up where you could go get all kinds of information. eBird had a setup. Um, you could buy shirts, jewelry, prints, you know, all kinds of hummingbird related merchandise. One of the high points of strolling through the vendor area was getting to meet Consuelo the python. No, I'm not afraid of snakes. 
but she was very interested in that hummingbird on my head. James Curry was one of the other speakers, and the title of his talk was 10 Hummingbirds You Have to See Before You Die. Oh, this one was right up my alley. After his presentation, I got to meet James Curry, and interestingly enough, the Honduran Emerald was one of the hummingbirds on his list of 10, and William Oriana, my guide, was the one who showed him the Honduran Emerald when he was in Honduras. And I told uh, James that I was meeting William in 10 days, and we were going to Peru to find the number one hummingbird on his list. And that was, of course, the marvelous spatula tail. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're going to Peru. This trip we went to find the marvelous spatula tail, but first we went to the Lima Highlands to find the Peruvian shear tail and then to the Econovic Reserve where I saw nine new species of hummingbird for the first time. See you then.